Yeah, so I wasn't really planning to make this, but uh, if anyone's watching this, sit down for a second and watch this video. This is actually kind of weird. So, I was scro I have a Nintendo Switch, right? And I was on the eShop today just looking for random games to make fun of versus and stuff like that. And I came across this game called, quote, Hentai Girls Romance Idol, or like, Idol Romance. And it's like, dude, what? I'm, Cause like, I'm a kid, and like, Nintendo knows what games I play, and what games I download. And they recommended me an actual hentai game. And they showed me, like, actual hentai games. So I look at the company that made this. It's called, quote, Paco Time. P-A-K-O-T-I-M-E. Yes, this is a real company. And so I check out their company on the Nintendo eShop. And they've made 23 games. It, it was on their best sellers page. Their best sellers only had one sale. <laughs> And all these games were just like hentai, high 18 plus games. And I was like, what the? And like, their most recent game was made on September 12th, yesterday, if you're watching this the day it came out. So I'm like, what? So I asked Google, uh, Google Gemini to be specific. I'm like, hey, how much is this company worth? Because I thought it would just be like some random indie developer or something like that. And they said, well, there isn't any, like, publicly available information. But what I do know is, this company is a Singapore-based, uh, brand. I guess they're, like, located in Singapore. And I guess they were started in, like, 2013. And in, like, 2018, they were bought out by like, Alibaba or associated with them. And so, like, this isn't some indie developer, high school student, college student, just, like, coding, just taking, like, coding classes and stuff like that. Or just, like, you know, like, just, like, taking computer classes and programming this in, like, their bedroom or garage at night, hey, or, like, in the afternoon after school. No, I don't know if Google Gemini knows which one I'm talking about. Oh, but from what I know, if Google Gemini is knows which Paco time I'm talking about, then this means this isn't in like some indie developer. No, someone had to sit down in like in the office or like in their room, take time out of their day, away from their family to. I'm like, I'm gonna assume like they work in an office or a remote. They had to sit down, draw, animate, program design test they had to do all that stuff they had to design and code these games games they had they had to hire a, a team of adult men and women in an office that were some, some that work remote they had to pay these people money on salaries because they had to pay these people money per hour to design these games. Someone had to sit down and make these. Not to mention, Alibaba is like a huge retailer. So that means, if Alibaba owned this company, that means this isn't an indie developer. No, because like there, there was, there. If it's owned by Alibaba, this isn't an indie developer. This is a company that's owned by a million-dollar company. So, so, that means someone had to sit down in a giant room with tables and chairs and stock boards and whatever. And someone had to give a presentation in from investors, CEOs, bigwigs, HR, just OSHA, whatever. Her. They had to give like a presentation to whoever her. Just to, to higher ups, you know? And they were, had to be like, Oh, hey, yeah, this yeah, this is a game. You want to invest in this? Because some, this isn't an indie developer. Someone had to sit down in a room with a bunch of other millionaires or something. They had to sit down in a room and talk about stocks, 
deadlines, investors, health right, health regulations within the workplace so that they don't get hit, shot down um, by some health care here violation. They had to sit down and talk about health care violations that could possibly go on in the workplace. They had to sit down and talk about stocks, investors, how to make progressions for their company and stuff. And just like overall, just talk about like really serious things that you would be talking about when you're owning like a gaming company. Like deadlines, stocks, I'm repeating stuff. Like just stocks, employees, employee budgets, overall budgets, deadlines, it's just like when the game is going to be published, the funding, what platforms it's going to be on, the, and like when it's going to be released, and who's going to test it, and what are the results, and is this compatible all for these things, and we need translators. Because someone had to sit down in a room and talk about this. They had to talk about hentai games and their release dates and deadlines and stocks and investors and overall progression of the company. You know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't some indie developer. This is a. This is possible millionaires. People with an M. People with millions. <laughs> Just people among the rich, you know? And they had to talk, they have to sit down in a room and talk about these games, you know? It's, it's just really astonishing, you know?